Thank you very much, Mr. President, Mr. Vice President. So as you've seen uh, just now from the detailed presentation from Dr. Burks, this is a rather robust uh, program for re-entering into normality. There's a lot of details here, and I know it'll take a little bit of time to digest them all. So what I thought would be good, since I really want to be brief to allow time for questions, is to kind of take us back to the discussions that we've had here before and why this is a natural evolution from what we had said before. You might recall that on a few occasions when I was up here before you, I told you that when we get to the point where we're going to take those steps towards trying to get back to some form of normality, that it would not be a light switch that you could turn on and off. I meant that in two different components. The first of all, that we are a very large country and we have different dynamics in the uh, country. We have areas of the country that have gone through a terrible ordeal and others that fortunately have gone and gotten, uh, gotten through this rather lightly. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that light switch on and off is the exact opposite of what you see here, which is a gradual gradation with the first thing and the only thing in mind as the health people here, my colleagues who are either physicians, scientists, or public health issues, the predominant and completely driving element that we put into this was the safety and the health of the American public. And I know there are a lot of other considerations that go into opening, considerations that you've heard of right from this podium. But the dominating drive of this was to make sure that this is done in the safest way possible. So let me just make a couple of comments to just reiterate more from a broader standpoint the things that Dr. Burks did so well in, in a very granular detail. First of all, in order to even consider getting into the phasing, you have to pass a hurdle. And that's the hurdle that we refer to as gating in. Now, when you think about it and look at the map of the country and look at the differences in different parts of the country, you will see that there are some regions, states, locations that are going to be almost already into some of that gating and will have already fulfilled some of those criteria. Others, because of the dynamics of the outbreak in the area, will take longer to be able to do that. But you don't get to phase one until you get through the gating. And then in order to make sure that safety and health is the dominant issue, the design of the phases were just that. You go into phase one, if you get no rebound, and you satisfy the gating for yet again a second time, then you go to phase two. If you have no rebound and you satisfy the gating criteria for a third time, you go into phase three. So there are multiple checkpoints of safety there. So as I've said from this podium, when we were talking about the first 15 days of the mitigation, and then we extended it another 30 days, I essentially pleaded with the American public to say, let us make sure we do the best that we can to accomplish that. And in fact, mitigation works. You saw the charts that the Vice President and that uh, Dr. Burks put up. It worked. And what we hope and I believe we will be successful if we carefully do this, again, with the attention to the safety and health of the American public, that we will be able to, it will be staggered. Not every state, not every region is going to do it at the same time. That's clearly obvious because of the very dynamics of the outbreak. But we feel confident that sooner or later, we will get to the point, hopefully sooner, with safety as the most important thing, to a point where we can get back to some form of normality. The one thing I liked about it that, that Dr. Berg said so well is that no matter what phase you're in, there are certain fundamental things that we've done that are not like it was in September and October. You want to call it the new normal. You can call it whatever you want. But even if you are in phase one, two, three, it's not okay, game over. It's not. It's going to be a way that we protect ourselves because, as we know, and as I've said from this podium, it may very well be, as we go the cycle around, that there'll be this virus that wants to come back to us. I think we're going to be able to handle that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go ahead, Dr. Coffey. 
Um, so I, I assume that there's an, also a phase four, which is after a vaccine is developed right. and available to everybody. So a question on phase three being the new normal, are we during that phase going to be able to see things like packed arenas for sporting events, large crowds, concerts? The, the answer is it is conceivable that we will be able to do that. I think there will always have to be attention to making sure that we don't do all that packing in together. I think we'll be able to have sports events in that phase where you actually have participants there. I'm not sure you're going to be able to do that uniformly and evenly temporally with everyone. But when people get to that phase, paying attention to the fact that if there is a rebound of any sort, that when you're in that phase, you can respond to that or you put it back and go in the other way. So the flexibility is that there may be some setbacks. I mean, let's face it, this, this is uncharted water. There may be some setbacks that we may have to pull back a little and then go forward. But John, the direct answer to your question, I do see us getting more towards normal. Thank you.